Hey Robert back here. Back in the vice today, we have the um, Coleman Arrow Lantern from back in the early 20s. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this lantern, don't get me wrong. It runs perfect, like a brand new one. Hate to destroy those mantles, but uh, I just want to give this a complete tear down because I haven't done it yet. And I want to remove, I want to boil this frame in uh, vinegar and uh, remove that rust. And uh, that way you can preserve this thing a little longer. So, in the meantime, let's get this uh, vise set up to fit the uh, arrow light. Get back with you in just a second. I ain't got to use my own vise in quite a while. Been busy making vices for other people. But, uh, so I figured it's about time. I've got a little while to kill before the post office opens this morning so I can ship out my last vise that I made. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Hope you all can hear me. Got that 111 burning in the background. I got some vinegar heating up to boil this cage in. Plus a little extra heat out here in this shop. It is cold here in Kentucky this morning, let me tell you. Just finished up a coffee challenge video. Sipping on some of this Black Rifle uh, Silencer Smooth. Man, that's some good stuff. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to remove this ball nut. Pretty cool. It's round, perfectly round on top. Most of the newer ones are drilled all the way through. Carefully remove this mica. I'm not going to boil this very long, but I am going to put it in the vinegar. It's not quite to a boil yet, but it's getting warm, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there. don't remember if I released it. I know I didn't release the pressure on this. Let's see if it still has pressure. It's been sitting a little over a week. Maybe about a week. Oh yeah, she's still got pressure. Remove this generator nut. Little tight, but it's five sixteenths. Okay, that generator nut is a little boogered up. So uh, I'm gonna hit it a couple strokes with that file just to make it a little easier to get my five sixteenths on there. And the five sixteenths does fit, but it's it hangs. Turn around where you can see that a little better. Not really taking the metal off, just the uh, little burrs on it. It lightly. It's still hanging a little bit. You can see that side right there. I mean, there's a really boogered up on that side. I 
this one there and it was holding it. side there. One side is it up really well. Perfect. Yeah, it, it was boogered up. You can still see a little bit right there. But I've smoothed it back down. I didn't really take a whole lot of metal off, like I said, just the bad places. But it's perfect fit now for the 5 16. Take my plumber's flaring device. Generally, this would thread straight out of there first. The air pickup tube would come out first, but this was all loose. So I just went ahead and threaded the figure eight out and then I done it from the um, pickup tube. Shouldn't need any heat on these because they were, when I put them back on there from that test burn. I cleaned out the air tubes I didn't I didn't tighten them back down because I knew that I'd be tearing it right back apart. Picked up this old parts uh, basket. I think it went to a rotisserie. Had a little pig sticking out of the end, stainless steel. But it went to a rotisserie cooker and I think I got it for 99 cents at Goodwill. So uh, it's perfect for dropping all my parts in 
holes in the lid, all my small parts in there. And, and I can just drop the whole thing down into my vinegar bowl, pull it all out at one time. I really don't think this generator has any packing in it. Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. This little plate right here will lift right off there. It's pretty rusty. So it's gonna need a bowl. Spacer, cage. And the collar will just lift straight off. I'm not gonna put that in the parts basket because that's nickel plated. And uh, so I'm not gonna boil it as long as I will the other parts. About a hundred years of dust in there. Make sure vice is tightened down. Nine sixteenth socket. It's all simple enough. Straight pickup tube, no springs, no nothing. Not sure if I can get that, I'm not even going to try to get that valve wall off there. So I'm not, I'm not going to try to even put that in the vinegar bowl. I'm not sure how to fix that valve wheel. And my packing is good in there, so I don't want to open it up because I don't have no leaks now. So I don't want to pull that valve stem. So we'll just give that a little hand cleaning. Go ahead and knock some of this dust off here. I went ahead and threaded that valve back in there since I'm not going to put it in the bowl. And, uh, I'm not going to try to polish this up real fancy because it is a 1920s lantern and it's... I just don't like doing that. I want them to look their age, but I am going to clean it up a little bit. Okay, before I start working clean on that fount, let me um, set it off the side. I've got my mica in the vinegar. It's not quite to a boil yet, but it's getting ready to. I'm going to get it out there and I'm going to give it its first rub down. I'm just going to take a small piece of this steel wool. Just roll it up in a little ball. Rub some of that roughest rust off her. Dip this real quick. Yeah, see the difference that's gonna make. Yeah, that's gonna clean up really well. Door, I can go ahead and hit it. The brush. Being really careful not to hit the mica. Cause it's got some heavy rust on it. Yeah, it's gonna clean up pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna bore you all with all this tedious work. I'm going to pause this and get back 
got that out of the um, vinegar bowl rubbed it with steel wool I took it inside the kitchen sink and I rinsed it really well now I need to get this torch lit Three and one oil. Do this door first. Just gonna heat that up. Got an old makeup brush. This is a trick I learned oil and guns years ago. whole lot on there. I'm just gonna brush. That oil on that hot metal. I waited too long getting my brush old. Heat that back up. That's water in that mica. There we go, that's what I want. Not exactly, got a little too hot that time. Let that cool down just a little bit. There we go. Cools off fast. down inside those cracks really well. Hey, got that all old, seasoned. Door opens and closes really smooth now. So I'm calling it quits at that before I break my mica. Okay, while I've been working on that mica, I've had my cage in the vinegar bowl. Let's give it a once over. Pretty rusty, so I'm hitting it with this water brush. Let's see, that's looking pretty good. I decided not to use no mother's mag on that. I want to keep it with this original patina. So I'm going to go ahead and thread my valve back in. Get it clocked so it can be setting up. It's the only place on a lantern that I will use a thread locker.
back and looked at the beginning of the video. I think that's where it was clocked when I got it. I don't know if that's where it's supposed to be. That's where it's at when I got it. Got my parts out of the bowl. Now we can put the collar back on. Okay, we got all that set. We can put our cage back on. Put our spacer. Plate. And our figure eight. Leather around that. Turn that cage just a little bit. Let's turn right here. Yeah, turn the cage, line it back up. So tighten this down some more. If I can find me a wider piece of leather. Okay, let's put a little bit of pressure in here. Maybe five, six pumps. This would help open it first. There. All right, let's tie on some mantles.
a little bit of smoking so that oil cures. Twenties arrow liner. I'm tickled with it. Okay, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.